This is a CTV News Bulletin with anchorman Buford Buellmuch. Good evening. We have been closely following the reports of a shark in the Greenfield Park Lagoon. The story first surfaced two weeks ago when Pistol Pete the Pirate was interviewed on Tuesday Night Live. And he has joined us once again. He is Captain Hook Pistol Pizza Harris. Pistol, welcome to the program. Arr, Bob, thank you for having me here, matey. <laughs> Now, you've, you've come, obviously, from a long way, and we know that after Greenfield Park's lagoon that you sailed the ocean for a while, how did you ever get back to West Dallas for this program? Uh, well, I heard there was a, a shark over in the Greenfield Park lagoon, and I took my ship over there and tried to catch it. That's why I lost my hand here. Were you successful with the shark? No, he got away as usual there, Bob. Much concern has been raised throughout the community of West Dallas as the lagoon is a great recreational source of fishing and boating. Speculation has been running high as to how exactly the shark got into the lagoon. CTV News has obtained a recent clip from an Ask Your Alderman segment on Jones Inner Cable in which a caller questioned about the shark sightings. Caller, you're on the air. Hello, Paul. I'm calling in regards to the reports about a shark in the Greenfield Park Lagoon. My sons and I often fish in the lagoon and I'm concerned about the possible dangers. To my knowledge, I have not heard about this situation. Besides, this would be the responsibility of the County Park Commission. Okay, thank you, Carr. Alderman, what would be the ramifications of such a situation? Paul, I'm not at liberty to discuss the matter. Okay, we'll be on to our next caller then. Thank you, Alderman. Other city and county officials have been contacted but were unavailable for comment. Dana Zare is live at the Greenfield Park Lagoon. Dana, what's the situation like out there? Well, Buford, it would seem that the reports of the shark in the Greenfield Park Lagoon are true. And as you can see by the size of the fin, it's got to be at least a 40-foot great white shark. And there's been another interesting development, and that is that the noted shark fighter and, and uh, noted seaman Pistol Pete the Pirate is here, and it would seem that he's going to intervene in this situation, and uh, we're going to try and get a word with him right now. E excuse me, Pistol Pete. Arr, what do you want, you lot lover? Well, we'd like a word with you if we could. Now, we, we, we understand that you're a noted shark expert, and uh, we'd like to know what exactly you intend to do to rid the Greenfield Park Lagoon of this menace? Arr, well, I've kind of taken it upon myself to rid the, rid the lagoon of this bloody thing. I see. Arr, and right now I'm kind of scouting him out to see what he's doing so it would be kind of easier for me to catch him, you see. Do you think maybe it'll be easier if, if we wait until the, the lagoon freezes over? Or Arr, or I don't know. Or? Arr, Arr. That might be a possibility, matey. Okay, okay. Well, folks, we'd just like to remind Arr. you to please stay away from the Greenfield Arr. Park Lagoon because it's very dangerous out here and uh, we wouldn't want anybody to get hurt. Arr, that's right. We don't need any amateur shark hunters out here. You end up losing a hand like I did. Arr. Okay, thanks a lot, Pistol Pete. Arr. Thank you, my lover. And what, what was that, Buford? Dana, I have a few questions. Has anyone been attacked by the shark? Well, uh, as far as we know, uh, there hasn't been anybody injured yet. There have been a few close calls, however, people coming out to feed the ducks and whatnot, as you can see swimming behind us here, they reach out to feed them, and great, that great white shark just, we, I heard a, a little old lady yesterday almost lost a hand. It was terrible. It was just, and, and we're going to have to get a hold of the county executive and uh, see what he's going to do about this situation. But as you saw, the noted shark fighter, Pistol Pete, the pirate is here, and, and he says that he's going to take care of it. And everybody, I'm sure, knows of his great reputation, and I don't think we have anything to worry about. Has there been any speculation to how the shark got into the lagoon in the first place? Well, Buford, as far as we know, now this is just what we've been told so far, but it hasn't been confirmed. We have to check with the Sewerage Commission. What we have heard is that the shark somehow got into one of the deep tunnels and swam upstream going through all the new construction work that they've done and wound up here in the lagoon. And we're not quite sure how that could happen, but we will be checking with the county executive, like I said, and as soon as we get those answers, We'll get them out there to the public. Again, please stay away from the Greenfield Park Lagoon, a very dangerous situation with a 40-foot great white shark swimming around out here. Don't come and feed the ducks, please. We don't want anybody to get hurt. Buford, we're going to send it back to you. This is Dana Zier from the Greenfield Park Lagoon. Thanks, Dana. 
Just a reminder, check the listing on your CTV channel, 13A West Dallas, 41 New Berlin, for times on upcoming specials of the shark in the Greenfield Park Lagoon. This is Buford Bulamuch for CTV News. This has been a CTV News Bulletin with anchorman Buford Bulemuch.